Module 5, Lesson 12, Homework. Number 1. Measure each rectangle to the nearest 1 4th inch with your ruler and label the dimensions. Use the area model to find the area. So I've already measured them. The first one is 1 and 3 fourths. So I'm going to go ahead and break it up. So it's 1 and 3 fourths by 3 and a half. And it wants us to use the area model to find the area. So I'm going to multiply 3 times 1, so this is 3. 3 times 3 fourths, I'll make that 3 over 1, we get 9 fourths, which is equal to 2 and 1 fourth. And we have 1 times 1 half, which is 1 half. And 1 half times 3 fourths is 3 eighths. We need to add all of those together. So 3 plus 2 and 1 fourth plus 1 half plus 3 eighths. Um, let's find a common denominator. So our common denominator for 4 and 2 and 8 would be 8. So we have 3 plus 2 and 1 fourth is equal to 2 eighths plus 1 half is equal to 4 eighths and that's already 3 eighths. If I add the whole numbers, I get 5. 3 plus 2 is 5. And then if I add the fractions, 2 eighths plus 4 eighths is 6 eighths, and 6 eighths plus 3 eighths is 9 eighths. And if I make that back into a mixed number, I get 6 and 1 eighth inches squared. Okay, let's do B. So when I measured, I got 3 fourths by 2 and 1 fourth. So if I do 3 fourths times 2, I get 6 fourths, which is equal to 1 and 2 fourths, or 1 and 1 half. And then if I do 3 fourths times 1 fourth, we get 3 sixteenths. So we need to add 1 and 1 half plus 3 sixteenths. I need to find a common denominator. That's going to be 16. So 1 half is equal to 8 sixteenths. Plus 3 sixteenths would be 1 and 11 sixteenths inches squared. If I go over here to C, we, it's a square, so it's 2 and 1 fourth inches by 2 and 1 fourth inches. So over here we have 2 times 2 equals 4. Here we have 1 fourth times 2 is 2 fourths. Here we have 2 times 1 fourth is 2 fourths. And then our last one, 1 fourth times 1 fourth is 1 sixteenth. 4 plus 2 fourths plus 2 fourths plus 1 sixteenth. So 2 fourths and 2 fourths is 1. So we have 4 plus 1 plus 1 sixteenth, which will be equal to 5 and 1 sixteenth square inches. D. When I measured, I got one and a half inches by two and three fourths. If I multiply, two times one equals two. Two times one half equals two halves or one. One times three fourths is equal to three fourths. And 1 half times 3 fourths is equal to 3 eighths. So adding all of those together, we would have 2 plus 1 plus 3 fourths plus 3 eighths. Or 3 plus, we need to find a common denominator. Our common denominator would be 8. 
3 fourths is equal to 6 eighths plus 3 eighths. So that's equal to 3 and 9 eighths. If we make that a mixed number, we get 4 and 1 eighth square inches. And E. I got this is 1 half inch and this is 1 and 3 fourths inches. We have 1 times 1 half, which is equal to 1 half. 1 half times 3 fourths is equal to 3 eighths. 1 half plus 3 eighths is equal to, if we make 1 half into eighths, we get 4 eighths plus 3 eighths. And that's equal to 7 eighths square inches. Number two, find the area of rectangles with the following dimensions. Explain your thinking using an area model. We're finding the area of rectangles that's two and one fourth by one fourth. So I'll just go ahead and draw it because that's our area model as well. So we have one fourth by two and one fourth. One fourth times two is two fourths. 1 fourth times 1 fourth is 1 16th. So we have 2 fourths plus 1 16th. If we make 2 fourths into 16ths, that's equal to 8 16ths plus 1 16th or 9 16ths square yards. B is two and a half by one and one fourth. So I have two and a half by one and one fourth feet. Two times one equals two. One times one half equals one half. 1 fourth times 2 is equal to 2 fourths. And 1 fourth times 1 half is equal to 1 eighth. We have 2 plus 1 half plus 2 fourths plus 1 eighth. Now these two, 1 half plus 2 fourths, 2 fourths is 1 half. So this is equal to 1. So we have 2 plus 1 plus 1 eighth, which would be equal to 3 and 1 eighth square feet. Number three, Kelly buys a tarp to cover the area under her tent. The tent is four feet wide and has an area of 31 square feet. The tarp she bought is five and one third feet by five and three fourths feet. Can the tarp cover the area under Kelly's tent? Draw a model to show your thinking. Okay, so she bought a tarp. It's four feet wide and the area is 31 square feet. So I think the only really information we need is that it's the area under her tent is 31 square feet. So let's see if this is large enough to cover 31 square feet. So we have five and one third by five and three fourths. So five times five equals 25. Five times one third equals five thirds or one and two thirds. Three fourths times five is 15 fourths. Four goes into 15 three times. That's 12, we have three fourths left over. Three fourths times one third is three Twelfths. Now we need to add all of that together. 25 plus 1 and 2 thirds plus 3 and 3 fourths plus 3 twelfths. I'm going to add the whole numbers. So 25 plus 1 plus 3, that's 25 plus 1 is 26, plus 3 would be 29, plus 2 thirds plus three fourths plus three twelfths. Now if we find a common denominator for three and four and 12, our least common denominator would be 12. So I'm going to change these into twelfths. Two thirds is equal to eight twelfths. 
3 fourths is equal to 9 twelfths, and this can stay 3 twelfths. 8 twelfths plus 9 twelfths is 17 twelfths, plus 3 twelfths is 20 twelfths. So we get 29 and 20 twelfths, but 20 twelfths is impro improper. So that can be 30, and then we get 8 twelfths left over. And we can reduce it, but we're, we really need it to be 31 square feet. And we only have 30 and 8 twelfths square feet. So the answer would be no, the tarp will not be large enough. Number four, Shannon and Leslie want to carpet 16 and a half feet by six, 16 and a half feet square room. They cannot put carpet under an entertainment system that juts out. See drawing below. So here it juts out right here. In square feet, what's the area of the space with no carpet? Okay, so the area of the space with no carpet, it looks like it's two and a half by two and one fourth. So let's find the area of that. We have two and a half by two and a half. Two times two equals four. Two times one half is equal to two halves or one. Two times one half again is two halves or one. And one half times one half is equal to one fourth. So if we add those up, we get six and one fourth square feet. We'll have no carpet, this space right here. B, how many square feet of carpet will Shannon and Leslie need to buy? So now we wanna know how much, how many square feet of carpet is in this shaded gray area. So it's gonna be, let's find the area of the entire square, and then we'll take out the six and one fourth so we know exactly how much carpet they need. Actually, I'm gonna do it over here where there's more room. We have 16 and a half by 16 and a half. So let's start with 16 times 16. So that's 256. 16 times one half is 16 halves or eight. Again, 16 times one half. We already did that right there, that's eight. And one half times one half is one fourth. So if we add those together, we get 256 Let's do 256 plus eight plus eight, that's 16. Six plus six is 12, carry the one, seven. So we get 272 and one fourth square feet if we did the entire square, but we need to take out this six and one fourth. So let's do minus six and one fourth. One fourth minus one fourth is zero fourths, or just nothing. Need to borrow, 12 minus six is six. Six, so we get 266 and zero fourths or just 266 square feet of carpet is how much they will need. 